Talk me. What the hell you over with you, man? Me. I told you to over talk me. Okay. I'm trying to. You I'm can't. listening. No, you but can't I listen to me if I'm talking and you're talking through me. That's the one thing I ask you not to do. And when I raise my voice, you start talking louder. Shouldn't raise your voice, honestly. Hey guys, it's your girl Melanie, and we're about to do a reaction to Kevin Samuels' video with an over talking boss babe, I guess. That's what the title says. Well, over talking boss chicks, chick wants to meet her match. So, whoo, what are we gonna learn? Don't nobody want no boss chick? Nobody. But here we go. Wow. I'm Hello. so <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I was just being funny, but uh, you know, I want to talk to you. Hold on. How old are you? I'm 31. What do you want to talk to me about? Um, you know, I'm a boss woman. I just was out at my. Where are women getting the idea that leading with "I'm a boss woman"? People who are bosses don't talk like this. You don't see the CEOs of Fortune 500 companies walk around. I'm a boss. I'm a boss. What does Tywin Lannister say? Any man who says, I am the king, is no true king. It's like they think that anybody cares. Nobody cares that you are a boss. And a lot of times people aren't even a boss. They don't have employees. They're just, you know, they, they just exist. So they're a boss of existence. That's like, I mean, it is just, when are people, mm, okay. But I know you men are just dying to get with a boss. Because you just love having the one at your job. So you want to come home to another boss too, don't you? Booth, you know, doing my pop-up shop today. And I went to college. And I believe that I can have a family one day. I believe okay. that... How many kids you got? No kids. Okay. You believe you can have a family? Okay. Yeah. I well, believe I can meet my match. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Is it me or she just sound fake? I you know, I went to college at my pop-up shop and I believe I can have a family and two kids. Like, it just sounds disingenuous. Like she's not really speaking. It's like she's putting on an act or a show. Maybe she's trying to, every time anyone is on IG, calls in on IG on his show, I always think it's a clout demon. Someone trying to promote their actual page or themselves. I, you know, and this is what this automatically is coming across. Don't nobody care that you got a pop-up shop today? Like, what does this have to do with a relationship show? Like, you're leading with you went to work today. Okay. So did the rest of America. Congratulations, you're an adult. And I'm not, I'm not putting her down, but I'm saying, I mean, it just comes across just so fake and over the top. Like, don't nobody care. No, 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 no. Roll it back. No, no. I'm sorry. Don't do it. I'm sorry. We don't, know, we don't know what to talk. That's one thing we don't know. I'm sorry. I'm getting people go to my page, my website, because I'm talking to you. So it's like, wow, I was well, shocked that. Cloud Demon, I told you. Oh, I got people going to my page and my business. It's just like, I was really shocked. Was she really shocked? Stop the cap. Stop the cap. That was beautiful. Well, turn off the comments and have the conversation. Let's talk. Help me out, Kevin. I don't know why, I don't know why. I mean, if you already have it all figured out, why do you need my help? I mean, I want to help your, your viewers too see my point of view and talk to you and have a conversation. Oh, she's coming to help Kevin. He needs her help. She's coming to help you and I. That's why she's calling in because she's winning in life and we need all of her great wisdom to rain down on us. I mean, automatically this is showing a lot of pride, a lot of ego. Like, if she really is all that, like, the amount of, when people say they're a boss and all this other stuff, it is, just know this is a person full of pride. They're very insecure, and they are full of pride as well. It's like they, they, just, they just aren't sure which way to lean, so they have to lean heavily on these titles and what they do because they're insecure about where they really are, or they're delusional and really think the rest of us care. But, I mean, just think, imagine she's calling in to help us, that's not a good look, sis. It's not. I don't think my I don't think my viewers want to hear a woman tell them anything. I don't want to tell them. I want to answer your question. I, you said you wanted to talk to me. Go ahead. I just want to talk about your conversation about how I can meet my match. How can I make 
I don't know what your match is. I don't know what your match is. What do you want? I want someone that, you know, can match my drive, my ambition, you know, someone that can bring to the table what I bring to the table as a woman. You know, I want someone that can meet, you know, my match. How's that working out for you? <sighs> she got the right one today with me. So she wants to meet someone who has her drive and ambition, her match. Her drive and ambition, that's it. That's that's what she's looking for in, in a man. It is all about her. It's about her. She's not anything about compatibility, somebody who is mentally stable, somebody who have different types of qualities to build a life on. Drive and ambition it is not enough to build a marriage. You need a business partner. That's what a business partner is for. No man is marrying a woman because she has drive and ambition alone. If she has drive and ambition, she needs to have a bevy of other qualities that he's looking for in a woman. But she's leading with just, I don't, why not get a business partner? I feel like a lot of these women who are these boss chicks would do better in that type of situation versus looking for a man. They could just get a business partner and, you know, just see through life with, with that. That seems to be the only thing that matters to them. And I don't get it. And, and, and I don't think they hear themselves how much this devalues a man and his role as a, as a husband and a father and, and what a man uh, brings, the value he brings to a woman's life, just his drive and ambition. What if he doesn't have a bunch of drive and ambition, but he's compassionate He's hardworking, he's giving, he's loyal, he's trustworthy. He's going to give you your medication when your teeth fall out. Like, but no, just ambitious. Okay. It's been working out great, but you know, honestly, I don't think guys at this point in my career are what I need to focus on. Like, I just want to focus on myself. And then when I get to a level where... I'm comfortable, you know, I want to settle down and that's what's in my vicinity. Now I'll do you want to explore that more. I'm sorry. I keep stopping it. I'm sorry. Like just the, this, the amount, this, the, the stuff, the verbal diarrhea that's coming out. I just, I got y'all. I'm sorry. I, I just got to I got to give it some Pepto. It, it's just too much. What she is talking about. She's not really looking for somebody. Once again, this is a clout demon. Okay. So she's calling into a relationship show when she really don't want a man. She wants to promote her business and she wants to show other women that essentially, because that's what she says, she wants to show us that we really don't need a man at this level of our life to just focus on our career. And then uh, magically one day when we hit middle age, uh, it's going to be all these men now available that just want to just meet our match because they're ambitious and they just, and, and they have drive. And that's what is going to, this is honestly delusional. Like, I don't think women, young women understand this. I am 40 now, okay? So at my age, and having previously been married, a 12-year marriage, I understand ambition and drive will kill a marriage in a woman. I'm telling you. You start focusing on, on, on building and growing and ambition, ambition, ambition. There's no, I mean, it, that is not what it takes. And this is for somebody who failed a marriage and, and wasn't like this. I, I know marriage is hard work. It comes with a lot of other issues and problems. People change, they grow, get ill, get sick. All types of things happen in a marriage. But if you go into it on this type of foundation, well, she's not even looking for a marriage, but let's just say she was. I think it's cap. But if, she's, if you're going into a marriage with this type of mindset, you will drive a man insane. He's not looking for you. He wants you to inspire him, maybe have a lot going for yourself, but it, but driving ambition is not it. What if you're a, you have a business and he actually just has a job? What's wrong with that? But oh no, we, we got to be a power couple. Okay. Hmm? Want any children one day? Yes, of course. That's why I'm doing everything. No, I don't sound of course. Right it's not of course. I mean, well, not of course, but for hold on, me, hold on, it's hold on, hold on, hold on. Look at this. A little time. How many kids do you like to have? Two or three. Two or three. Which one? You know, two and a maybe, maybe, you know. Two or three. Which one? 
two or three? Three. Let's say three. Let's just go for it. What state do you live in? I live in Las Vegas right now. Okay. Um, at what age does geriatric pregnancy attach for the female? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? At what age does geriatric pregnancy attach for women? Yes, you know, if there is a time. At, at what age? I'm like, I hear at 35, you begin to at be- 35, At 35, at 35, yes, at 35. When I'll settle last, for one at, kid. At 35, you know? At, no, at 35, when was your last relationship? I mean, I'm dating someone now, but my last relationship was a year and a half ago. And how long did it last? Five years. Hey, could you do me a favor? You keep swiping. Could you turn These off? These people are going to my website. I'm, okay, I'm, could, okay, turn off the notifications or turn off comments because that's kind of I can't. I'm sorry. I'll just ignore it. It's blocking yeah. your face, though. Well, you can turn off the comments. All you have to do is hit the three dots. No, do you know my website? It tells me when I get viewers. So, right. but you can go yeah, ahead. that's fine. Okay, so um, five years, right? Five years is your last longest relationship. Um, why didn't you get? Why? Why are women in these long relationships with no end in sight? Five years, and where was it supposed to go to marriage? I don't understand. You don't have time like that to waste in a relationship that's going nowhere. Like, it needs to have a plan, a direction. It needs to have an expiration date of whatever that stage that you're in. You Women don't cannot afford to live like this. And, you know, I, I believe modern times they, they're lying to women. Like, you can have it all and you can delay and you can do this, that, and the other. There is a no fathomable reason that a woman who desires marriage and children should be in a relationship for five years. Now, I can see maybe she's 20. And then it, it turned to 25 or, you know, but like, why, why, why are you in a relationship that long? If it's not, I don't get it. I, I is it just cause people just aren't geared towards marriage anymore? I, like you, time is on a man's side. Time is not on our side. They lied. So they lied. I know you think you can, you know, bypass biology and, 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 and things won't happen, but it's, you don't have, t we do not have time to waste. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Well, we just decided that that's not what he wanted at that time. He wanted to focus on his business as well and get himself to a better position. You know, that's not, we both were just, you know, wanted to focus on business at this time in our life. Okay. Um, and what kind of business are you in? I do marketing and branding. Same thing, you know, but I'm also, you know, I do. All right. So about what, at what age? Do I you, own a market. At what age? No, no, I don't know. We have this conversation. At what age do you think you will be ready or in a position to settle down? Like, in like, like soon, like now I'm dating someone. At what age? Cause 31. Well, well ma'am, those two, you just, you just contradicted yourself. How? Cause you came through the door. Talking about you're not ready to do something. I never said, I said that I want to, that's why I'm not in a relationship. I'm dating someone. How long have you been dating this person? For about four months. Did you got, is he wanting to get married? Yes. Did you guys start dating with the intention to be married? Well, yeah, I am, but how can I, no, no, like, no, you know, no. balance oh, my no, work I'm and, asking, my, I'm and my relationship? Did you start, okay, did you start dating this man with the intent to, I'm dating men? specifically yes. and solely towards getting married yes you guys have had this conversation yes from the day and he wants to get married yes and what kind of time frame does he want to get married i'm not sure i mean you, i'm really not sure that, that i haven't have had that i haven't had that conversation you haven't had the conversation okay so you, I have you talk a lot no so i don't i'm getting i'm getting to the bullet points you, okay you okay so she just sounds very confused and i get it like it's like it's her her kind of talking points she seems very fake i'm just being honest it just seems like she's not really being genuine it just sounds scripted or like she's trying to put on a facade or act am i the only one to see in that i don't know i read people very well very fast um and so but anyway she's just that's what she's talking off both sides she's dating someone for four months she wants to get married to him but 
they're both focused on their business. I, I, it's just all over the place. And you're dating someone for four months. I, this is how these long situationships happen. You're dating for four months. Why are you not in a relationship? I'm sorry. You don't have time to waste. You just, just casually seeing each other. And, and that's fine for men because they have time. But once again, it is a lie that you can build, you know, focus on your business and not prioritize family, marriage and family. It's just, it's, it may feel unfair. It is unfair, I guess, if you see it that way. Um, but you can't, we can't operate like a man does. I don't get why people don't understand basic biology. But then what, what she's saying is, well, automatically, you know, I don't, I think she's capping. I think she's capping about how they've had these discussions and things because it, it just, something about it is just like she's just making it up as she goes along just to fill in the blanks, just to make it sound better. Or this is the thing, maybe she really wants to be with this guy, but he's not trying to wife her up, but she still wants, she's trying to, you know, chasing it. Could he be a Chad? And, you know, and she's, he's got a rotation of women and she's, you know, something about this is, is not, you, you guys get what I'm saying? Something's not right. Something's not right. If you're dating with intention, you said I'm dating a man and we got it clear that I want to be married, he wants to be married. The next question is in what time? Because in four months, if you don't know, if you didn't know from day one, why'd you go to day two or three? I mean, I mean, I'm assuming because it's within a year or We so, don't assume that's shit. You know, we're business people. We don't assume anything. We are, well, we are, I'm just we are, dating no, right no, now. No, 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 no man, we're business people. We're business people. We don't assume anything. We, we can't, can you deposit in the sun? This is the other thing, having casual sex with a man, giving your body over to a man, and you think that there's no bonding with him. There's no emotional bonding. When you give your body to a man, every time, I don't even, I don't care if it's even a, a worker, okay? Now, they're desensitized to it. All right. At that point. But there is a bonding. You cannot be sleeping with going out in a romantic relationship with a man and you aren't bonded to him. That's just facts. Now, I know some women who are for the streets, they they can just, you know, roll with the punches. But the reality is that's generally not how they were. They became that way through, you know, uh, you know, trauma in, in, in sexual relationships, but having this the casual sex, giving your body to a man, um, where he has free access to your body without any intentions for a woman who wants to get married, that's a no go. And you're adding to body count. And, and then if, if this isn't the guy for you, then you, you can lie to yourself all you want, but there's going to be some, your heart, it is going to hurt. It is going to, there's going to be feelings involved. So then when the, a man who you want to marry, a guy, who's, you, the man who's supposed to be your husband, that entanglement has to come out of you. The trauma from that. A lot of women are not understanding that there is a lot, for, for a lot of us women, st science studies have shown that casual sex for us is much more traumatic. It has much more damage to us than it does a man. It's not even on the same scale. Like, no. So in other words, you're not dating with what I call an intention to be married. Okay. So why don't you have the conversation with him tomorrow? I and tried to have it frame? last night. I had something to do today, so I didn't go into it, but it is something that I do have intentions on doing soon. But see, that's the problem. If this man wanted to be, if this man was what, what you say he is, he would already have had this conversation with you up front. You see, this is part of the problem. You ladies talk, but you don't want to get the real stuff up front because you might not be his pick and he might not be yours. But the bottom, right. line, but the bottom line is, um, if he is not, if he says tomorrow, uh, no, I don't want to be with you. I like this, but I don't want to take it any further. What are you prepared to do? Just continue dating. Thank you. Other people. So, thank you. Continue dating, but you're but you're only dating this one person. Well, not by like that's by choice. But you're only dating this one person right yes. now. Yes. Yes. So go back to Jerry. She wants to be with him. Um, yeah, I knew that's what it was. 
All right, so I, I can see through this now. Um, he is a, a Chad. He is a guy that she wants. She She's invested emotionally into him, but she's lying to herself. This is why this kind of mask, this kind of fakeness we're getting, um, and this is not to put her down. I'm just calling it what it is. There's a mask there. There's something she's, she's, she's spinning about her career because the man that she wants is not wifing her up. They have been dating for four months, and he's not even her boyfriend. This hurts. She... Tried to bring it up last night, but she's, it looks like she's been scared or he's just, it looks like she's just somebody he's seen, but he does not see her as a long-term woman to be with. Um, and she knows it. Uh, I think it bothers her that he, that is not. And instead of leaving this situation, uh, and, and getting things together and dating a man with intention who wants to get married up front, this is, um, Instead of doing that, she would rather keep chasing this Chad and or, or this Tyrone or whatever, whoever, I don't know what he is, but most likely she has a high sexual attraction to him. Maybe he has money. Um, you will see women won't do this for the average man. This will happen for a guy who is has that swag. He has money. Um, physically, he fits the description that she's really looking for. He's a show off to the girlfriends. Um, there's an emotional tie. There's a trauma bond here. And you can just see it in just how she's she's spinning it about her career to save face. Um, and most likely, I don't know what this guy's character, but I'm going to say it's going to turn off a lot of men. If she's talking to him the way she's talking to Kevin about her career and all this other stuff and being very double minded and wish washy and not being sure and not he may he may be looking for a wife, but he realized talking and dealing with her. She's just not at the level that he wants or he could be, you know, he could be, you know, street sweeping, you know, and he's in these streets and he wants to do him e either way. Um, she's, she's hurting herself being entangled emotionally and sexually with a man, um, who is not looking at her as a wife. Catch your pregnancy. Go back to when do you <laughs> want to get married? Okay. I'll tell you. All right. This is what I mean. This is why you can't have what you say you want because you ladies don't approach it with seriousness. Well, you, you guys just get back from it. No, you no, because the, the, the calendar has told you what life is. I try not to put a date on things that I can't determine, but I understand what you're saying. The intentions of actually putting a date on it could help expedite. I want you guys to understand how often our women don't want to put restrictions on or, or avoid women who don't want to put a calendar or a clock on anything. You don't want to put a clock on it because it's rejection. It's, it's real clear. I mean, it seems that it could appear that way, but it's definitely not No, it is that way. That. It Some is people that. just try it to have that. faith, you know, it that whatever's going that. Happen. No, there's no faith. This, it is that way. I hate when people bring spirituality and try to say just letting things go is just faith. That is not what faith is. Faith without works is dead. So if you're going to bring up faith and, and bring it into a spiritual level, we, come on now. Come on now, there's a, we can go a lot of places with this right now. You know, and again, I'm not judging her, but I'm just trying to break the delusional wall that I see out here. And this is a lot of delusion right here, believing that, you know, it, like I said, she is hoping that this, this Chad, this guy that she's now trauma bonded through sex with, she's now bonded through him to him sexually. She is hoping that he wipes her up. But if a man is dating you, okay, let me tell you, there's a shortage of wives out here. I know a lot of women like to say, oh, we're all the good men. Well, on the other coin, men are saying, where are all the wives? Where are all the good women? So if a man comes across a woman who's wife material, who, who checks off those boxes, and he's a mature man, and he's he wants to get married, and he's, and he's serious, and he's not just, you know, just playing the field and doing him and having fun... If he's serious, he, he's not going to let you go. He's going to try to secure that. But, and I think she knows it in her heart. And it's, it's hard to see because I can see there is hurt in her. She is hurt. She's hurt by this guys. She really is. And, you know, we hurt ourselves. It, it's, I mean, it's sad to say we, we hurt ourselves with this type of thinking and not being really guided in how to do marriage and relationships. I understand you. I believe you, but I never thought about it like that. Well, that's why men run the world. Because 
when stuff has to be done in a systematic way, you guys don't approach it that way. You approach it in your feelings and faith. So do you think men do that? They know when they want to get married and they set a yes. date on that? Yes, yes. I know, I know at least 10 men who got married, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, six men in my group alone. Plus you can go on YouTube and see all the videos of people who say, I've been listening to Kevin, I've gotten married in under six months. Yeah, yeah, show you. Well, that. yeah, they're listening to you, but no, do they no, know No, no, man, you ask me, you ask me. I can, I can only tell you, I can show you people, I can show you folks. Dennis Spurley, he's an attorney right here on YouTube, found his uh, fiance in my group inside of a week. See, the problem well, is- I understand that you do help people, but I don't think people naturally know this. And that's your problem. I'm not saying no one knows this, but I'm saying- You don't think, think people the naturally know? No, people no, no. The answer that you're is- you're okay, up saying that they do right this, they're not thinking- oh. See, once again, he's giving, he's telling her what it is. He's a, he's, he, he talks to men. He understands men. He is a man. But rather than saying, wow, I didn't know that that's, that's good information. I have a lot to learn. She wants to argue and it, a need to be right being argumentative. And I, and I've admitted this has been an issue of mine in the past because I, 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 in my brain, you know, I'm thinking that I'm proving something and I'm figuring something out and rather just an accepting what a man is saying. And a lot of women don't understand, guys, it is actually, men see it as respect when you listen. Doesn't mean you have to always agree, but you actually listen and digest it and you don't have to have a counterpoint. Everything that is, you don't have to win. You don't have to be right. If you hold a different belief, then hold it. You don't need to constantly argue about it. And a lot of women feel as though, well, why can't my voice be heard? Your voice can be heard, sis. It's gonna be heard, but it's gonna be in an echo chamber because men don't, they don't like it. They do not like it. The sisterhood enjoys this, but not, but not a single man. Don't talk me. What the hell is wrong with you, man? Me. I told you to over talk me. Okay. I'm trying to, you I'm listening. No, you can't listen talking. to me if I'm talking and you're talking through me. That's the one thing I ask you not to do. And when I raise my voice, you start talking louder. Shouldn't raise your voice, honestly. Get off my phone.